It's about 8.30 in the morning, and at 10.30 today, I have two Yorkies coming. So while my one dog in the back is drying, it's a Shih Tzu mix, I'm going to go ahead and make two itty-bitty little bandanas for the Yorkies that are coming. One's a girl, one's a boy. So the girl is getting this fabric with this on the back. And for the boy, he's going to get green. St. Patrick's Day because it is March. We're going to get that and he's going to have plaid on the back of his. So I'm going to use this template to make their bandanas. I'm going to sew it up and I'll be ready when they get here. But let me show you first though. I made these last night. I make the bandanas for all the dogs that are groomed here. This is an extra small and it has little diamonds on it and it just ties on the dog and it has a curved neckline so it's very comfortable and it won't flip up. These are like little collars. Um, they go over the dog's collar, which, there it is. It just slips on just like this. And it just looks like a little collar. It's super cute. This is for an itty bitty little dog, but it has a little Easter flower button on it. These are ice cream trucks. They're upside down, but they're free. So they can't complain, right? <laughs> so. That's how that works, you know, for a little dog. It's super cute. And this one has pom-poms. These are free. These are for the dogs that I groom. Reversible. Super cute. More ice cream trucks. This one ties on. It's got glitter ice cream trucks and a little Easter egg. Because this month is March and we have Easter and St. Patrick's Day all in the same month. And here's a little Easter bandana. I sell them too, but these aren't for sale. These are just for the dogs that I groom. It has a little Easter egg on it. Slips over the collar, see the little holes? All right. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. I got these bandana templates off of Etsy a couple years ago. And then I'm just gonna trace it and then cut it out. I'm going to modify it a little bit so it's smaller because these Yorkies are really small. And so this is an extra small, but still going to be too big. So I'm, I'm, going, to I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so they'll fit. The first Yorkie I'm washing is going to be the boy. I'm going to warm up the water and load him up with shampoo. I have the girl here. I'm going to go ahead and wash her. Let me hook her up so she can't jump out of the tub.
I'm going to start off with the boy first because he's always the first one in the front of the cage and he always wants to come out first though. So. He's getting a number four blade all over. He's got to hook him up, put the loop on him so he does not jump off the table. Finish drying him. His feet are still a little bit wet. To shave the pads of his feet with a 30 blade. Then I'm going to come back with my scissors and trim between his toes. That way his feet will stay nice and clean. I'm trimming up all of his feet and I'm cutting his nails. He's got back two claws. So I'm going to cut those with my little cat clippers. See, I, I like these, but his back two claw is curled around and it's hard to get to. It's at an awkward angle. So I go in with these little cat clippers and I snip that two claw. Done with his body. Now I'm going to shave the tips of his ears with a tin blade on the outside and on the inside of his ear. Then I go back with my scissors and just trim up around the edge. He's ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and spray him down with some conditioner and wipe him off with a fragrance-free baby wipe. And take a little water and wipe his eyes out. Just wipe out underneath, make sure they're nice and clean. Remove all those loose hairs. His mother likes his face short, so I trimmed it pretty short underneath here. I shaved the top of the nose because that's how they like it. It's the big moment. It's time to dress him up. We have his little bandana here with the St. Patrick's Day diamond on it. Turn around and show everybody how cute. His sister's in the back waiting her turn. He did very good. See, it fits perfectly. So I made it a whole lot smaller than the template was because these guys are itty bitty. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I have the little girl here, and I'm going to start out by shaving the pads of her feet with a 30 blade. She's getting the same haircut as her brother. Number four blade all over, and I decided to use a five on his head, so I'll, I'll do the head a little bit shorter than the body.
I'm just holding her still right here so she doesn't jump off the table. Got my hand under her. These dogs are fast. Like, if, if you let go and they don't have the noose on, they, they know. They're waiting for the opportunity to jump, and it is a long way down. So always make sure I got one hand on them. See, so even if I just leave it right there, they know, they know that I've got them. It's funny, even in the bathtub, if you ha if you have a dog that doesn't like the dryer, if you if you just put like it's weird, if you just put one hand on them like this while you're drying, they calm down. You take the hand off, they go crazy. You put the hand back like this, and they calm down. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I guess it's comforting or something. Who knows what they're thinking? I'm using my tin blade to shave under her tail so her poo-poo does not stick to her hair. Just lifting up the tail, shaving all this hair away from her private area and her female area too. And shave all this out. Shave the inside of her back legs. If I can get in there, she's so small. It's like the clipper. Is the same size as her. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a seven blade because her belly is so low to the ground. I can't really get under here with the four blade. It's not going to take any of this hair off, you see? So it's going to drag in the dirt. So I'm going to come in with my seven blade, which is much shorter, just to shave under here, but nobody will ever know. It's just... It'll keep it clean, you know. And then it's nice and short under here for when it, you know, she goes outside. I'm going to go ahead and use the same short blade on the inside of the back legs, too, to keep it short. When she goes pee, she won't pee all over her legs. Well, she's still going to pee on her legs, but it won't stick to the hair because the hair won't be there. All right, so I'm cutting her back nails, and I just want to show you how they all turn to the side. I don't know if you can see the way they're growing. They move your head so the whole world can see your foot. See, they all point that direction. That's actually very common. I don't know, I don't know why, but they're all growing towards the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and use my cat clippers. Go ahead and cut these. So this one's curling into the foot there. And the back one, if I, if I can flip her foot around, so it'd be easier to trim from the behind here where I can see what I'm doing. There we go. That still looks long. Cut a little bit more off. And that is going to help her walk a whole lot better now. I'm just trimming up her front foot and her leg here. I can't get the clippers in, so I really have to do most of her legs with my scissors. Just fluffing it all up and trimming it up. And trim between her toes, too. It's a really loud car going down the street. If you guys hear that sound, it goes up and down the street all day long. Same car. I'll get my brush and fluff this up. Just kind of mess it up. Pull all the hairs out from between the toes and round it off.
<laughs> okay, I'm going to trim her nails. This one's curling around, so I'm going to get my cat clippers and snip that one off. Check for dew claws. Some, some dogs have dew claws in the back, and some of them only have them in the front. Some have all their dew claws, and some have no dew claws. You never know. And some, some might have them on one foot, like one front foot and not the other front foot. But that, a lot of times, that's because they have them. They get them ripped off because they always get snagged up in things. Just trim the inside of her legs here, short. done I'm just trimming up her face nice and short making her mouth nice and round with my curved scissors my chunkers and just blend it in. Getting ready to clean these ears out. They're, they're a little crusty in there. Going to get a cotton ball and some ear cleaner. Okay, I'm going to spray her down with some conditioning spray. She's pretty much done. See, the thing is. She's got some thinner hair and some thicker hair, so when I put the blade over her back, she's, she has some parts that are short and some parts that are long. So I'm just going to go back over her back one more time. I'm going to fluff it all up and go down with the four blade because it, it doesn't look even. Just because of her hair coat. I don't know if you can see. I think you can. See where it's dark here? It's shorter. And here... It's a lot longer just because it's a different texture. So when I put the blade over it, it does different things. I'm just going to go over it one more time. Just going to fluff it up. I don't know if you can see this spot shorter. Because it's thicker here. There we go. That's better. You put them down on the floor and you're running around. You probably never tell the difference, but just going over it again. All right. Now we're going to wipe her eyes out. She does not want to look at you guys. Oh my God, how cute is this? You stay right there. You sit down. We're gonna show everybody your bandana. I made this this morning for you, just for you. 
So you have to put your head up and show everybody how pretty. Back it up. Back it up. There we go. Tie it on. There we go. Sit back here. Let's take this out of the picture that's ruining your photo shoot. Turn this around. <laughs> Tell everybody, thanks for watching. Can you sit? Can you sit? There we go. Good girl. You stay. You stay right there. You stay. Pick your head up. Nope, you stay. Sit. Okay.